really comes down to the future, your future in the police department. He has threatened our whole department. A state committee is getting ready to decide the future of Wasatch County Sheriff Jared Rigby. He continues to assert he is the right person to oversee the training and investigation of law enforcement officers in Utah. Fox 13 News investigative reporter Adam Herbitz joins us in studio tonight with new information the state may be considering ahead of making a decision, Adam. Yeah, Bob Kelly, we showed you those videos where he's accused of bullying and intimidating that police officer. We he showed you how he says he's being taken out of context, but now we have dozens of emails, Sheriff Rigby's emails, and now we know videos like this were being recorded long before you saw them on TV. I'm extremely disappointed in Fox 13 News. I appreciate the citizens of this great state who see the Fox 13 story for what it is a misleading and inaccurate report. Those were the selfie videos posted on Facebook after 11 p.m. on a Friday night. Sheriff Jared Rigby fighting back against our story showing this video. Your perception is wrong. A video where he's accused of bullying and intimidating a Heber City police officer who reported his police chief for choking a handcuffed suspect. It really comes down to the future, your future in the police department. Fox 13 has not reported accurately. Our review of the sheriff's email show he was privately recording different versions of the same video and sending them to his supporters. Even before our story was published, quote, there are so many parts about Fox 13's story that are false. It was in no way my intention to come across threatening in any way. By then, he knew his appointment to the director of post was in jeopardy. His swearing in ceremony postponed because the state had similar questions about the video. Are you aware that the city spent thousands of dollars settling that case because of the way you handled it? I can't speak to that now. Keeper City came to the sheriff's defense posting a thank you letter for Rigby. They said his investigation of the chief was thorough and arduous, even though Rigby's report shows he conducted zero interviews until after clearing the chief. Well, they hang out together. They're buddies. How can you say you did a full thorough investigation when your friend did your investigation? Emails now show Rigby helped write his own thank you letter to himself. Thanks for the latest draft. I've been over it and sent it to the attorney I've hired. Here's one of the lines that never made it to the final draft. Heber City remains committed to transparency in this case. So tomorrow, the person who will be leading the discussion is Park City Police Chief Wade Carpenter. We've already reported on how he's accused of rigging this process. Of course, he would probably disagree with that. He's had closed door meetings with the governor's office lobbying on behalf of Rigby. And we found out from reading these emails, he got one of those advanced copies of the selfie videos and he wrote back to Rigby, uh, nice job on the video. That's a big stack there, Adam. Anything else within these emails that we need to know about? Yeah, there's actually plenty. So what we're going to do for the next hour is get as much as we can online onto the front page of our website, fox13now.com. It'll take me probably about an hour to get all the pertinent information on there, but there's a lot to go through and uh, happy to share it. All right. Adam, thank you so much. Thanks, Adam.